Hi everyone, I'm John Fancy, Product Manager here at Confluent. I'm really excited to talk to you today about Stream Designer, our newest innovation now generally available in Confluent Cloud. In today's digital first world, companies have turned to Apache Kafka to harness the power of data in motion with ubiquitous access to high quality, real-time data streams. Kafka has become the de facto standard for building streaming data pipelines that connect and decouple data sources and sinks, process data continuously, and trigger actions based on real-time events across your business. But we've heard many of our customers share challenges trying to easily build reusable streaming data pipelines with open source Kafka on their own. An over-reliance on specialized Kafka engineering talent, cumbersome development cycles spanning multiple tools and components, as well as duplicative efforts across teams rebuilding the same pipeline for similar use cases leads to bottlenecks that can limit the speed at which your organization can set data in motion. Stream Designer is a new visual builder in Confluent Cloud that makes building, testing, and deploying streaming data pipelines really fast and easy. Instead of spending weeks or months developing on Kafka Connect and Kafka Streams, you can now build pipelines within minutes in Stream Designer leveraging all the power of Confluent's fully managed connectors and KSQL DB for stream processing. And this is all built on everyone's open data streaming platform of choice in Apache Kafka. As your requirements in tech stack evolve, Stream Designer makes it simple to keep even your most complex pipelines up to date through a unified end-to-end -end view, eliminating the overhead associated with building new pipelines. And don't forget, with Confluent Cloud, all of the underlying Kafka management comes fully managed without the need to set up any additional infrastructure. Unlike other GUI-based editors that have common drawbacks like reduced flexibility and higher latency, we built Stream Designer leveraging Kafka's open platform to offer speed and simplicity without those trade-offs. For example, Stream Designer doesn't have a separate runtime engine, so you will experience the same high performance of Confluent Cloud. You can even seamlessly switch between writing SQL or using the graphical canvas, whichever method you think works best for you. Pipelines built on Stream Designer are exportable as SQL code for CI CD or to share across teams as production ready pipeline templates. Let's take a closer look inside the product. You can launch Stream Designer in the Confluent Cloud UI and start building pipelines from a few options. You can start by pulling data from an external system with a source connector, start with an existing topic if the data is already in Confluent, or start with code if you already have some pre-built pipeline code or you want to write SQL directly yourself. You can even leverage one of our stream processing use case recipes to get up and running quickly. Let's start from scratch with a connector. You can access our portfolio of pre-built, fully managed connectors within Stream Designer. And in this case, we'll be using the Salesforce Push Topic Connector to get data from Salesforce when changes are made. We'll configure it by providing the necessary authentication details in this side panel. As we save our connector configuration, you'll see the connector tile change color to conveniently prompt us with an error notification. Clicking into the connector, we can see that the error message tells us that we need to write it to a Kafka topic. So let's hover over the connector node and click to add a Kafka topic. We'll give the topic and stream names, then activate the pipeline to get the Salesforce data flowing into Kafka. And voila, we now have an active functioning pipeline. Now, a key benefit to streaming data pipelines is to process and enrich real-time data in flight. And we've made stream processing logic easier than ever to visualize with Stream Designer. Examining the events in the topic, let's add a filter on the Salesforce object type and filter for account. For example, this allows us to process a subset of the data downstream when we have a lot of different Salesforce objects written to the same topic. We can point and click to add the filter tile, but you can also see all the other stream processing operations we could do, like specifying an aggregation such as a group by or using join to combine multiple streams of data. Instead of writing all of the logic in SQL, we can just specify the filter expression. We'll need to give another Kafka topic to write the result of the filter into, so let's add one. If you need to add additional stream processing logic to the Salesforce data, you can just hover over the node of the topic and add another filter. 
The pipeline will fork on the canvas and you can see how you can build very complex pipelines with Stream Designer and be able to trace your data every step of the way. We won't be needing this second filter though, so let's quickly delete it. Next, let's sync the filtered data to BigQuery. Instead of adding the sync connector graphically, we can switch over to the built-in SQL editor and paste in our connector configurations. When we activate the pipeline, voila again! The sync connector will reflect visually on the canvas. Last but not least, we can export this pipeline by downloading it as a SQL file and check it into source control, such as GitHub, or share it with your colleagues as a template to reuse and make their lives easier. Stream Designer is only our first step towards democratizing access to data streams. And we hope that both new and seasoned Kafka developers will find it helpful to build streaming data pipelines at top speed. So what are you waiting for? Stream Designer is available in Confluent Cloud today. We can't wait to see what you build.